What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Austin Groft, and in today's video we're going to be reviewing some jerseys that me and my friends ordered from a website overseas. The website's called publicjerseys.ru, it's a Russian website, and we've ordered from them in the past, and they have been really reliable. They're high quality, like this one right here, this jersey I'm wearing right now is one of their jerseys. It's the Ben Simmons City jersey from like one or two years ago. And I've had this for two years now, I would say, and it's lasted a long time. The durability is there and everything. Like, you can tell it's fake because of the stitching, which I'm going to compare with these jerseys and some of the other jerseys I have. So me and my friends, we ordered like seven jerseys. I only got one of them in there. I got the Luka Doncic one. We're going to go down, open up the package, and check them out. So let's go check them out. So we'll start off. This one's a baseball jersey. Um, but as you can see, like, in comparison to the other ones, you can see the stitching here. I'll zoom in on it, though. But you can see... It's stitched in, like, it's hand stitched in versus, like, the embroidered ones, like, on the Okafor jersey. The quality is pretty nice, honestly. I think the quality's there. This is a Joe Kelly jersey from when he played from the Boston Red Sox, but... Out of the inning. Oh, <laughs> Joe. Joe. Just looking at the jersey in general, you can tell it's fake, obviously, just because the stitching. The numbers are a little big. I'm not really a baseball fan, so I can't really speak because I don't own any baseball jerseys. From the looks of it, it looks pretty legit for... For a uh, cheap jersey like this you can see like the stitching here and stuff like I have a Wentz jersey that I've had for like ever since he's been a rookie and it's like wearing down but considering it's $20 and it's last that long like it's probably time for me I don't know if I honestly want to get another Wentz jersey just because he's been playing so awful but that's the Joe Kelly jersey and as far as tags is considered they they actually try to be pretty legit with their baseball tags here so yeah that's the that's the Joe Kelly jersey so we'll put that to the side um, next up is so I believe all the other jerseys are basketball jerseys, so when comparing them, this basically going to be the same format, but this one is, so this is the John Morant jersey. This one's nice. See, this one actually looks like pretty cool. This one's pretty clean. Like you can, this is stitched in. Like all these, all the numbers and stuff are all stitched in. Just the material feels better. It's like a softer material. This one's more of a firm and that you can see the stitching, like that one's more like machine made where this one looks like it's almost like hand stitched. Which is kind of unique honestly, and then there's the tag at the bottom of this one. Like let, let's look at the tag at the bottom of the Okafor jersey. The tags look pretty similar honestly. Just like the way they've been put on there. But yeah, here's the back of the John Morant jersey. See that looks pretty clean. Like these numbers are stitched on, they look exactly the same as my Ben Simmons one. So now since we get the idea that all the basketball jerseys are the same, I'm just going to take them out and just show you what they look like. Um, this is the Tower Hero Miami jersey. This one's clean. This one's only. This one was also only twenty dollars. Yeah, you can see it looks pretty nice. From what I've heard, DH Gate messes up the names sometimes, but this company, I've never seen them mess up at all the names. So so far, they're they're three for three right now. So that's good. This is the Jamal Murray Nuggets jersey. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the looks of this one a lot. You got the city there. The number looks pretty good. See how they let the numbers kind of bend right here? That's just because they're not embroidered. They're stitched in there. So it's going to be like that. But for $20, like the value you're getting out of this is outstanding. And they got like the Nike logo there. Like that looks pretty legit too. So we got two more left. This is the, uh, I don't know exactly what this is. My one friend saw it because they got all kinds of jerseys on this website. I want to put it in the description. It's publicjerseys.ru. Um, this is an Allen Iverson jersey. Now, I personally don't know what kind of jersey this is. I mean, it looks really cool. But here it says Allen Iverson 1997-98 Harwood Classics. So, I don't know. I think it's kind of sick, to be honest. I mean, this you can tell this was all just patched in there. But the, the material of the jersey itself feels nice. There's the back. That's a nice, clean. Like this, you can definitely tell that's fake right there. Like, overall, I like it. And then finally is the jersey I got. Um, I got the Luka Doncic Mavericks jersey. You can tell this logo is definitely stitched on, just one big piece. It feels nice though, and then you got the 77. You got the um, sponsored logo up there, and then on the back here, Doncic looks pretty nice. You got, see, you even got the NBA tags on these and the NBA dry fit, like they're trying to make them legit as legit as possible, which is which is kind of sweet. I did notice this, so that's kind of weird. I don't know exactly what that is. That's supposed to where the tag's supposed to be. So, like, let me take off my Simmons jersey that I've got from this website. Let's just compare them. Yet again, sorry that I got an Oak 4 jersey. 
but you can tell like the numbers I think in general are just bigger just because they're patched on there like you saw in that Joe Kelly jersey they're pretty big on uh, the Doncic one they're pretty big these two are already embroidered in the jersey like since they're factory made but these ones are actually hand stitched which is I guess kind of cool but you can tell that they're fake like that so like you can see here these will not peel off and these could possibly come off just because they're stitched on there but it looks nice but like these materials on the side you can tell that they're stitched and they're just they just feel a lot different this one feels so much nicer the Nike logo feels legit looks very legit this is back when the Sixers were actually sponsored by Adidas this Nike logo actually feels a lot better than this Adidas logo and it seems like it's the quality is just better the tags ideally look the same um, let's flip it over to the back now embroidered on there with the oak four and then this one like I said uh, the numbers are about the same size but yeah, the just the biggest difference is that these are stitched on and these are not. But you can tell they look pretty similar. And if you're getting this one here for twenty dollars versus this one is, I don't even know how much I got this one for at the stadium. But if you're getting this one for like over a hundred and this one for over twenty dollars, this is a steal. Especially if you get it to a bunch of friends, you get the discount on the shipping. I think it's a big time purchase. All right, back in the office after we reviewed the jerseys. I currently, I just threw on the Luka Doncic one. I really like it. I think it's clean. It actually fits me perfectly. I, I'm, I wear a large, so whatever size you normally wear is the exact size you're gonna wear for this website. Um, I believe they go all the way up to like triple XL. So yeah, um, this fits me perfectly. I love it. I'm definitely be repping this throughout the season. I'm not a Mavericks fan. I just love Luka. I'm a big Sixers fan if you haven't already noticed. But I'm definitely going to be repping this jersey. But yeah, if you love the NBA, if you love just getting jerseys in general, publicjerseys.ru is probably one of the best places to get cheap jerseys. I know it takes a while for them to come, but these are like really high quality jerseys. Like I think they're better than the jerseys you get off of DH Gate personally. So like if you're trying to get cheap jerseys, you're like me where every jersey you buy, it's a curse. They end up getting traded to a different team. This is the best place in general just to get cheap jerseys because they're legit. You get this, this, this jersey right here was like $20. So if I were you, I would definitely save your money, go get these jerseys off publicjerseys.ru rather than spending $100 on any expensive jersey. So yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more basketball and Penn State content. We'll see you next time here on the channel.